Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks, and let's talk about the NFC East. First, I got Philadelphia Eagles uh, leading this division by far. They're by far has the best best roster in the NFL. On top of, you know, having an excellent O-line and uh, ranked four defense from last season. Uh, the They got a new offensive coordinator uh, as their old one, Frank Wright, went to Indianapolis. And uh, their new one's Mike Groach. And, of course, they still got their defensive coordinator, uh, Jim Schwartz. Uh, Coach, I got I to gotta give my hats off. Uh, Coach Doug Peterson. You know, he was... Uh, a backup quarterback at uh, Green Bay uh, underneath Far, who also played in the WFL and uh, NFL Europe. Uh, he uh, made a great cleanup of this team. You know, his first year went 7-9, and nine on, you know, fixing Chip Kelly's mess. Uh, but uh, I, I would have never guessed. I mean, they bring in this guy who's never coached much, um, and he was a backup quarterback. He won a Super Bowl and was a backup quarterback, and he also now has a Super Bowl ring, his second year uh, coach of the Eagles. I mean, that's pretty impressive, you know. Uh, he got a great roster behind him. Uh, some of those changes from last season, uh, they signed uh, Richard Rodgers, tight end from Green Bay. Uh, they lost LeGarrette Blount uh, to Detroit, a running back from last year. Uh, they signed uh, defensive tackle Haloti Nada from Detroit. Uh, he's 34, um, getting long in the tooth. And uh, they signed Mike Wallace uh, from Pittsburgh, a, w- a wide receiver, uh, to a one-year contract as well. Uh, Carson Wentz will be uh, returning from a torn ACL. Uh, he may or not be 100%. We'll have to see what's going on with that. Uh, but he's a great pocket passer, uh, but he'll probably be running less as he did last year. If he's, that's when he tore his ACL, you know, diving for that uh, touchdown. Uh, but, of course, they still got Nick Foles uh, in the roster as a backup. So uh, they should be well covered. I think Nick Foles did a great job last season. You know, he got off to a slow start, but uh, did it great in the Super Bowl, I tell you that. Uh, looking at the numbers, they got the... Uh, the Eagles is nine to one to win the Super Bowl. Not a bad bet there. Uh, win total is ten and a half, and I think they'll go at least eleven games. Uh, last year they went thirteen and three. Their strength of schedule is only at nineteen, tied for nineteen, and uh, that's uh, less than anybody else in the division. So they have an easier schedule than the rest of the division. And uh, in the division themselves, they won five and one. So I, I think eleven wins or higher. Eagles, uh, it's a safe bet to win that uh, division. Next, we got the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, uh, in the news, mostly Des Bryant. Uh, he got released. He's looking for a new team. Uh, he's looking for a big payday. And I think here he's talking with the Browns. No one runs off to the Browns unless they want super payday. And the Browns ain't giving anybody a payday, that's for sure. But you never know. Some of the other players they lost, they lost Jason Witten. Uh, he's a great tight end, played 15 seasons, now he's an ESPN broadcaster. Uh, overall, uh, the Cowboys, you know, they, they signed most of their offensive linemen. They have a great uh, O-line, uh, and uh, they have a great run game. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott's uh, back play 16 games, and he only played 10 games last season. He's still got 983 yards, so he, he almost broke 1,000 just playing 10 games. Uh, but when you got a great offensive line, you can do that. So I expect them to stick to the run game, uh, you know. And uh, Dak Prescott, in my opinion, a little inconsistent in training camp. Uh, but that's what training camp's for. Uh, but I'm sure he can do the dink and dunk passes like he did last season. Keep with the running game and uh, do just fine. Uh, their defense on the other side of the ball is, you know, not a great secondary. You can pass against uh, the Cowboys all day long. Um, uh, the David Irving is out for a month. The pass rusher uh, for four games uh, for substance abuse. Uh, and it's just 
not in par with the Eagles, pretty much in this division. Uh, they might keep uh, try to keep a low scoring game, but if Eagles can you know score quickly and Dallas try to get behind and play catch up, you know, forget about it. Uh, but looking at the numbers, they got the Cowboys 25 to one to win the Super Bowl. Uh, the win totals at eight and a half. And last year they went nine and seven. I think uh, this year um, they got the strength of schedule of 15, nine, nine and seven. They might do that again this year. I mean, why not repeat it? They, they should be able to. Uh, they have a decent schedule. You know, the teams that they can uh, you know run on. Now they got five and one in the division. So that even if they repeat five and one in the division again, and and win four other games, they should easily win that nine and seven. Next, we got the New York Giants. New York Giants got a new head coach this season, Pat Shermer. And Pat was the offensive coordinator to the Minnesota Vikings last year. Uh, and he replaces Ben McAdoo as head coach. The New York Giants uh, traded uh, Jason Pierre-Paul and a fourth round uh, pick to Tampa Bay. Uh, just keep him away from fireworks. Uh, they released uh, wide receiver uh, Dwayne Harris to Oakland. 30-year-old wide receiver uh, to a wide receiver that uh, didn't play uh, last season. They drafted Saquon uh, Barkley uh, from Penn State to uh, do better in the run game. Um, and the big news for the Giants is pretty much uh, Odell Beckham Jr., who missed all of last year for injuries, is in negotiation for a new contract. He wants to be the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL right now. And if I were the Giants, I'd be a little nervous to, to pay all that money. Uh, but I'm sure they'll come across and uh, keep them somehow. Uh, but my concern when it comes to the New York Giants is Eli Manning, by far. He's uh, 37 years old. His brother Peyton retired at 39. And if you remember when he was 38, uh, he didn't play so well. You know, he couldn't get any passes correct. And Eli Manning, right there, last year he just... He, didn't look that good you know overall just played badly so I expect them to play even worse <laughs> so uh, they might bring in uh, the quarterback Davis Webb as a backup you know he might come in and play we will see uh, we have no idea but uh, I think uh, they're struggling a quarterback and when you struggle a quarterback you don't do so well so they got the the Giants winning 50 to 1 and their win totals at 7 and I'm calling that under. Last year they went 13 and three, and they got the toughest strength of schedule in the division. So they got, they went one and five in their division last year. Strength of schedule is tied for eighth, and uh, last year it went three and 13. So that's a red flag all the way through. I'm I'm calling under seven for the New York Giants for this year as well. Last but not least, we got the Washington Redskins. Washington Redskins they lost Kirk Cousins. That's the biggest news on them. They, they signed uh, Alex Smith, uh, with, traded uh, from Kansas City Tree Chiefs with quarterback Kendall Fuller and a third round uh, pick. So, you know, if a comparison, comparing uh, Kirk Cousins with Smith, uh, they're great pocket passers, great uh, dink and dunk passers. I, I would say maybe Kirk Cousins you know, most acceptable to uh, interceptions than, than Smith. But we will see. It might be the team. It might be the coach. We'll find out. Uh, some of the other things that uh, is going on with the Redskins, they signed a five-year contract with wide receiver Paul Richardson from Seattle. Seattle just getting rid of everybody, I tell you. Uh, except, for, except for Russell Wilson. Um, let's see. They also signed a one-year contract with backup quarterback Colt McCoy um, he will be in case Alex Smith doesn't do it they want to keep Colt McCoy they, be, they keep Colt McCoy around for the longest time I mean I just, maybe it's just, it's just the name I remember the most yeah, I remember he did pretty decent on a Monday night game uh, a few years back but uh, they keep him around in case they uh, you know need him and then uh, they drafted a running back from LSU Darius Geis uh, to improve their running team game as well similar to the Giants they have uh, several running backs like Robert Kelly he should be uh, he's he's healthy from last year's high ankle sprain and uh, I think again uh, the Redskins are 
uh, build up their run game, uh, try to improve their pass game with Cousins. And uh, for me, I think they're a step above New York. Um, but they got the same odds as New York in the, uh, they got 75 to one to win the Super Bowl. And the win total is a seven, just like New York. So I think this team might win, you know, six games, possibly seven. You might get a push. Uh, they went seven last year. Strength of schedule is 14. Uh, and uh, division, they did horribly, just like the Giants. The bottom two teams, obviously, in this division are the Giants and Redskins. I think the Redskins will finish better than the Giants. That's my opinion. Uh, the Cowboys will be mid-level, and the Eagles should run away with this division with no problem. So that's it for the NFC East. Uh, stay tuned. The rest of the month, I'll have two videos to talk about each division from the NFL. And I will see you next week. Peace. You enjoy placing a few bucks on your favorite team? Maybe try your hand at cards or on the slot. Use me as a reference and click the link in the description below and receive a new member bonus and help support this channel. Bovada, just better.